Hey, I'm Santi, and I will show you how to connect our CAN bus multiplex trainer. First, we need to connect the upper and lower boards to the computer. This is important when simulating a CAN protocol because a network requires at least two devices. After that, we need to open two instances of the CAN bus trainer software. You must select the COM port for each board and open them. Then, select the start button to initiate the communication. The CAN bus protocol must be the same on both the upper and lower boards. This means the speed and baud rate must match. Now, we will transmit data from the upper board to the lower board by pressing the CAN TX button in the first window. Immediately after pressing the TX button, you will see the data received in the receive box on the second window. This indicates that the communication was successful. The same process applies to the lower board. Transmit the data to the upper board and you will see that the communication is working correctly. Now we will open the trainer tab which allows us to send data to the buttons and potentiometer on the upper board. I'll send this data to the S1 button. When the S1 button on the upper board is pressed, it will transmit the data over the network to the lower board. Remember you must select only one checkbox at a time to send data to the board. In this case, I'll send data to the S2 button with these changes. As you can see, each time I press the S2 button, the data will appear in the window on the lower board. The same data you send for each button will appear in the Receive tab. This is because the data has been saved for each button. Finally, the Sniffer tool allows you to see how the data changes in real time. It is especially useful when you connect to the vehicle, as the vehicle sends a large number of messages quickly. You will be able to see all of this data and how it changes on the Sniffer. Here's another tutorial on how to use it with the vehicle. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay connected with us for more tutorials about the fascinating world of the CAN bus network.